And it's going to be South Kingstown winning the face-off. West already uh, player up now. SK looking to push it up through midfield. They're going to give it up to Nolan Quirk on the left side. Now to Connor Discall. Driscoll, I mean. back multiple ground balls forced now one in front of the crease and it's the goalie dropping it from west great defense by west though to keep the ball out of goal despite the wide open shot there for south kingstown South Kingstown's going to get it back now with Garnet Kerwin. Falcons now have a possession. 
they're going to have on the left side. Nice quick passes by the Falcons. And there's going to be a wind-up shot for Jack Major, and it's going to go for the Falcons. First points now on the board with seven minutes to go. Apologies for the technical difficulties, but it's going to be West going up 2-1 in that time. Four minutes left to go here in this game. We apologize for the lagginess on stream. The ball is going to go out of bounds. Both teams now heading to their respective benches for a timeout. And we'll be back once the match resumes. We are back everyone, it's going to be South Kingston with the possession after that timeout. Good defense played by the Falcons now with this ground ball in front of West's goal. Referee's now going to whistle. And we are back as players head to the field. It's going to be Charlie McGuire taking up the ball on the right side. Falcons look for a play. Ball goes out of bound and it's going to be South Kingstown ball. Tampton Hubbard currently with the ball at the top. He's going to be passing to the middle. It's being a quick shot attempt. From number 18, Eric Martinez, it won't go, but it will stay South Kingstown ball. It's 
it's going to be another shot from South Kingstown, that being from Nolan Quirk. However, Sam N's going to save once again. Kyle Schmitz is now taking up the ball. Nice passes. Right in front of goal. Great ball movement, and the West Falcons are going to put more points up on the board with that shot. Coming from number eight, Cameron Scorpio. Currently a minute and 22 left to go. Apologies for trying with the audio, but Falcons win that faceoff and are back on offense with around 40 seconds left to go. Falcons continuing to pass it around, but it's going to be Joey Testa dropping the ball. And it's going to be a long pass down the field, but Sam N's going to catch it and give it back to the Falcons. They're trying to look for a last shot opportunity with the clo quarter closing out. Joey Testa's back at the top of the key. He's going to wind up for a shot. But Sean McGregor is going to be there to save it. There's going to be a long clear down midfield. South Kingstown trying to look for a last opportunity shot, but the buzz is going to sound. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter, first quarter. With West in the lead 3-1 to one against South Kingston. Players head back to the field. And this is going to be the start of the second quarter. South Kingstown already back on offense. And it's going to be a hard hit delivered by the goalie on the Falcons, Sam N. Big time play by him to stop that fast score break from South Kingstown to start off the second quarter. Charlie McGuire getting ready to take it down the left alleyway and he's going to pass it up to number eight. West get it back now even after that face off.
Nice passes now by the Falcons. Taking their time here in this possession. Joy Test is now at the top. He's going to hit his defender with the move. Gonna go in and out. Pass is going to be short. It's a ground ball now. Let's say get it, get back for South Kingstown. However, Kyle Schmitz is right back on defense for the Falcons as they push it up through midfield. Good pass to the middle, and that wide open shot's not going to go. Ball currently a ground ball. It's going to roll out of bounds for the Falcons. going to be a nice save from Sam N. He's going to run it up through midfield and it's going to be a nice play by the goalie as the Falcons move it around. A minute left to go here in the second period.
Currently, Charlie McGuire with the ball running down the clock. It's going to be an ISO play. Nice shot from Charlie McGuire, and that's going to be his third goal of the game so far. West extending their lead to three. Nice win at the faceoff. It's currently a ground ball. Clock running down. And that's going to be the end of the first half. West on top, 6-3 to three against South Kingstown. And we'll be back right after halftime.
And we are back here for the third quarter of this game between Cranston West and South Kingstown here in this boys lacrosse game. We apologize for the technical difficulties in the first half, but now we are back. West in the lead by six, by three, I mean, with Charlie McGuire with the ball. Nice moves, and that's going to go right through the goalie. Shot by. It looks like number nine, Jaden Bogle, made that shot. Coming behind X for that sh 
Really nice goal on the top left corner, and that's going to extend West Lee to four. Nice wraparound X once again. It's going to be another goal for the Falcons in this one-minute span. That's going to be a, a goal by Jack Major. Jonathan Hand currently with the ball. South Kingstown trying to look for an opportunity. There's going to be a look for an opportunity. There's going to be a shot let off by number one, Zachary Bunelli, and he's going to answer back. West in the lead by four still. With only two minutes going through that quarter, lots of goals are scored. It's going to be a whistle on the faceoff, and it's going to be South Kingstown possession once again. And it's going to be another goal for South Kingstown right after the faceoff. Didn't even see that coming. That shot coming from number 22, Declan Fredit. That goal scored in eight seconds. Gonna be another whistle on the faceoff, and they're gonna give it back to South Kingstown, surprisingly. Ball almost rolls out of bounds, but Declan Fred is gonna be there to save it last second. He's going to give it to Connor Driscoli, or Driscoll, my apologies. There's going to be another wind-up shot, and Hampton Hubbard's going to score for South Kingstown. Three back-to-back -back goals for the team, only reducing West Lee to only two points. It's going to be South Kingstown once again on offense winning that face-off.
is going to be a shot fake and uh, underhand shot let off by Brunelli. It won't go. It's going to stay South Kingstown possession. 8 and 30 left on the clock. More quick passes by South Kingstown to retain possession. It's going to be a nice move from Bernelli. He's trying to get around multiple defenders. It's going to be an underhand shot now from Mason Thorne. It won't, or actually number 18, Eric Martinez. It won't go. It's now the Falcons on the clear. The referee's going to whistle on that clear. It's going to be a timeout, and we'll be back once the match resumes. And we are back. Falcons trying to take it up. But Connor Driscoll is going to get it right back for South Kingstown. There's going to be a running up shot. And it's going to go. South Kingstown getting four sh goals in the span of two minutes. So all, be, all of a sudden this game got real close. going to be the Falcons winning that face off now they need to look for a way to answer back after all those South Kingstown goals only in the lead by one now Falcons being patient here with this opportunity. There's going to be a push in the back after that ground ball. It's going to stay West possession. Hard hit in the back ball now in the possession of Charlie McGuire for the Falcons as he runs it up the field <clears throat> 
Falcons resetting once again. Good pass in front of goal. It's going to be a clutch save by Sean McGregor as West maintains possession. 5 and 55 left on the clock. Jared Bogle runs it up for the Falcons now. There's going to be another pass. Quick pass is going to be a wind-up shot by Charlie McGuire going inches above the goal. West maintains possession. Going to be a pass in the middle, intercepted. It's still a ground ball. And Falcons get it back after that defensive play by South Kingstown. Currently in the hands of Joey Testa. Currently walking the field, taking his time. He's going to dish it to Charlie McGuire, who's sitting near the 50-yard line. As the Falcons now sub out multiple players. Nice move by Charlie McGuire. He's going to take the bounce shot. Won't go. It's going to be a ground ball now. It's going to be Garrett Kerwin picking up the ground ball for South Kingstown. They're now on the fast break. A lot of fumbling. There's going to be a nice pass in the middle. Nice hard hit by Sam N to prevent that shot going. Another great defensive play made by the goalie. Falcons now look for the clear. It's going to be another ground ball. And South Kingtown is going to end up getting it back. It's going to be Brunelli with the ball now on the left side. He's going to dish it to Driscoll. It's going to be a wide open shot now for number eight. Hampton Hubbard once again. It looks like that's his third or fourth goal of the game. As he had that wide open look on right around the crease having a one-on-one -on -one shot with the goalie Sam N and South Kingstown have managed to tie this game up hard hit on the faceoff there's gonna be a flag on the play We'll see who's going to get sent to the box after that flag. It's going to be Falcons possession after that. And it looks like number 22 is going to be taking a knee for the South Kingstown Declan Fredit. That's going to be a player up now for West. Looks like Charlie McGuire is going to be taking up the ball once again for the Falcons. <laughs> nice passes by the Falcons now. There's going to be a wind-up shot by number two. Jack Major. It's going to be good defense played by South Kingstown to get the ball back. They now look for the clear. It's going to go way too far. Ball now in the air. 
It's going to be a big mistake, though. Driscoll takes the shot. His bounce shot will go way far up into the air. And Sam N, the goalie for the Falcons, is going to be the first one to chase that ball out of bounds as the Falcons now have the clear. Nice passes by the Falcons. Now it's going to be a ground ball after Jared Bogle drops it. It's going to be a play on as the referee makes another call. It's going to be South Kingstown ball. South Kingstown making a huge comeback here in the third quarter, tying up the score with the Falcons. Falcons choose to pressure being a man up in midfield. Brunelli feeling the pressure, trying to fake out his defender. He's going to dish it to Nolan Quirk at the top. He's going to run down the right side. Good defense played by the Falcons. It's a ground ball. Nice play by Driscoll to retain possession for South Kingstown as they take their time. Looks like South Kingstown is going to be taking a timeout, and we will be back once the game resumes. And we are back. South Kingstown now on offense. Falcons get it back. Sam N currently looking for the clear. He's going to fake it as he runs down the field. He's going to pass it up to midfield to Charlie McGuire on the left side. Looks like Falcon, the Falcons are drawing up a play. No longer a player up though. As Declan Fredit is not in the box no more. 
under a minute left now for the Falcons to make this last attempt play. It looks like they're just going to run the clock out here for the third quarter. South Kingstown trying to prepare for this play. Charlie's going to come down on the right side. Nice switch in directions. It's going to be a bounce shot, but it's going to be a clutch save by McGregor. And it's going to be South Kingstown looking for the clear. Oh, but it's going to be a ground ball. Referee's going to whistle, and it's going to be South Kingstown ball. Five seconds left to go. It looks like they're going to be... Starting with the ball at midfield. Brunelli currently with it. He's going to look for a last chance shot. He's running down. Passes defender. Looks for a shot. Oh, there's going to be a last second attempt from Kyle Schmitz to get the ball out of his stick. Preventing Brunelli to even shoot it. And that's going to be the end of the quarter. Score tied up 8-8. Eight, eight. And we'll be back once the fourth quarter starts. Let's see if this fast-paced play they had in the third quarter extends here into the fourth. Currently a ground ball at midfield. Nice defense play by the Falcons. It's another ground ball. It's going to be a play on. It's going to be a cross interference. It's going to be Falcons ball. 
with 10 minutes and 35 left on the clock. Charlie Maguire is coming down midfield with the ball currently. Number three for the Falcons. He's going to dish it to X in the hands of Stevenson. Ball is now back with Charlie McGuire at the top of the key. It's going to go down the right side. Currently, Cameron Scorpio getting pressured. Falcons continue to move it around. After those very wide open shots, but missed, Falcons still retain possession. Currently, Jack Major with the ball now. He's going to give it back to Charlie Adams. I mean, Charlie McGuire. My apologies for shouting out one of our fellow commentators here on Fans Only Sports Network. But Charlie McGuire gets the ball back. He's going to try a bounce shot. It's going to go way over the net, though, despite going around multiple defenders on that play. Falcons now have the ball at X. And it's going to be a jumping fade away type of shot for Jack Major. It won't go as McGregor now looks for the clear. He's going to give it up to Aiden Plante. South Kingstown now back on offense. Falcons are double teaming. Applying the pressure now to South Kingstown's offense. Not letting that fast play paced play go any longer for the team. It's going to be a cup a a couple of bad passes by South Kingstown. But they're going to retain possession as they push Joey Testa out of bounds. Score still tied up with 7.51 left to go here in the last quarter of play. Bradford Wallen currently has the ball at the top. Gonna, Joey Tess is going to decide to pressure his defender but falls down in front of Mason Thorne. Uh, South King Sound have the ball at X currently. In the stick of Driscoll. He's going to try a, a whip around shot. It's going to go way too far right. South King Sound maintain possession. It's going to be a nice pass to the middle. Shot won't go for Nolan Quirk and it's going to be Falcons ball nice defense played by the Falcons there on that possession they're just going to whip it right through midfield it's going to be Jack Major trying to pick up the ball against multiple South Kingstown defenders ball still on the ground And Jack Major is going to be the one to get it back for the Falcons. Falcons look up, look to draw up a play now. Here with six minutes and thirty left in the quarter. 
Jack Major does a nice spin around move. Looks for the bounce shot, won't go. Second chance shot will also get saved by McGregor as he looks for the clear. The pass is going to go way too high. Ball rolling out of bounds. And it will do so. Falcons get the ball back. Looks like there's a push during all that play. And it's going to be South Kingstown ball, surprisingly, after that referee corrects his call. South Kingstown is going to be taking it out on the right side, currently in the hands of Hampton Hubbard, who earlier scored multiple goals to bring South Kingstown back in this game. It's going to be a, a very long shot for Benelli going out of bounds. South Kingstown maintains possession. Good defense by Kyle Schmitz, forcing the ground ball. And that pass is going to go way over Brunelli as the Falcons get it back. There's going to be a push in the back, flag thrown on the play. Falcons looking for a, a nice shot, and it's going to go for number nine. Or actually, number two, Jack Major. West are back in the lead. Correction, um, that goal was actually scored by number nine on the Falcons, Jaden Bogle. Looked like a number two from up here, but that goal from number nine, Jaden Bogle is going to propel West back into the lead with five minutes and 24 left to go. They get the goal after the flag, still, which results in the field still, or the amount of players for each team still being even. South Kingstown is going to have the ball after the faceoff. Mason Thorne currently has the ball on the left side. He's going to dish it to Bradford Wallen at the top. Ball now at X. Hampton Hubbard looks for a shot. He's going to get his helmet taken off as the flag is tossed. We'll see what the penalty looks like after that call. But nonetheless, it's going to be South Kingston with the player up here in this possession. Four minutes and 40 left on the clock. West in the lead by one. South Kingstown, however, have a man up possession here on offense. Perfect opportunity to equalize the score. We'll see what happens.
ball currently on the left side. This is going to be a quick shot going out of bounds. South Kingstown remains with possession. They now pass it around looking for an opening. Falcons forced to play defense with the player down. Sim and coming out of goal to get the ball and he snags the ball, putting it into the crease. Falcons now on the clear. Another clutch play made by the goalie Sam N. It's gonna be a timeout taken by the Falcons and we'll be right back once the match resumes. back for the remainder of the fourth quarter. It's currently the Falcons now on offense. Try McGuire is currently getting pressure at the midfield as the Falcons are, are currently a player down. It's going to be another mistake made by the Falcons as the referee whistles. And it's going to be South Kingstown ball. Good defense played by the Falcons. Ball currently in the air. Referee's going to whistle once again on the play. South Kingstown still looking for another opportunity to equalize the score. And Sam's going to last second save that shot from number 12, Mason Thorne. South Kingstown still remain a point down. Oh, there's going to be a hard hit delivered to a Falcon. There's going to be a flag thrown on that play instantly. It's Jack Major getting up quickly after that hit and we'll see who's going to get sent to the box Good job. Good job, 
They say number, or actually it was number eight that got hit from the Falcons. Cameron Scorpio, but he got up very quickly after that hit and walks back to the bench. Currently, Jack Major is going to take up the ball for the Falcons. Wes is going to look to waste time off the clock given their one point lead. Still looking for a good opportunity though. Nice quick passes for Charlie McGuire's fourth goal of the game. Extending the lead to two. Clutch shot by Charlie McGuire from the 25 for that goal. Propelling West's amount of points to double digits. In the lead by two now. It's a ball down after the faceoff. Still a ground ball. It's going to be Falcons possession. It's going to be Kyle Schmitz with the ball now. He's going to get the possession back for the Falcons with two minutes left to go. Good ball movement now by the Falcons. Needing to waste time off the clock. South Kingstown's going to have to pressure if they want some chance of coming back into this game. Referee's going to whistle as there's an extra ball on the field. And actually, there's a call, and it's going to be South Kingstown possession. Apologies for the misconfusion. 